space, the final frontier. These have been the voyages of the space shuttle Discovery. Her 30-year mission, to seek out new science, to build new outposts, to bring nations together on the final frontier, to boldly go and do what no spacecraft has done before. Discovery, a tribute to the dedication, hard work, and pride just, of American space just, shuttle team. He just, he just wants to fly.
thing is a lot bigger since the last time I was here. Discovery Station has you loud and clear on the big loop. What took you guys so long? My call, initiating RPM. Three, two, one, mark. name from a lot of ships of exploration over many centuries and it comes with a pretty rich heritage and it's really lived up to that and she just performed magnificently getting us up here so I think we're all going to be kind of sad to, to see it go and we're going to remember Discovery and all the shuttle fleet I think is the most uh, capable vehicles that have ever flown in space. uncharacteristically speechless and our commander has given them all sorts of words of encouragement and uh, also told them if they do a bad job he won't let them back in.
to ring the recess bell on you, but we only got about 15 minutes left before an extended LOS, and we have a Liz here for the transfer brief before hatches close. Scott, it was a pleasure to be up here. We appreciate your hospitality. We appreciate you putting up with us, knocking your stuff off the walls, and uh, generally trashing your station. And we're going to miss you guys. And so thanks. Thanks for everything. We're going to miss you, but uh, most of all, we're going to miss Discovery. We wish her uh, fair winds and following seas. Thank you. down the runway. We ran the uh, energy numbers uh, with the higher peak wind that we gave you earlier, which was the 18 peak 28, still getting you 2,200 feet down. So we'll call it the 2,100 at 195. Okay, copy that. You're flying. Thank you. Good job. All right, 25,000. Bring it off, boys and girls. Roger that. I see one. Okay. I see two. Roger. I see them both. It's good. Going into the clouds. We agree, you are on and on, and we have good HUD video. Very good. Six hundred, five hundred, four hundred. Here's down. Now you're forty-two thirty, twenty-two twenty, ten, okay. ten, five, two oh five. Touch. Okay, shoot. Two. Stay rotating. One, two, good rate. There's a shoot. Yep. Those gears now. Yep. Ground well. speed enabled. All right, backing it up. You're coming to the center line. Now get the shoot on time. Okay. 90 knots. Nice job, Steve. Yep. That was beautiful. 75. Yeah. The winds are just the really. Shoot is coming now. Okay. Coming on the brakes. I thought the shoot. I'm easing off, I'm not hardly touching it. Okay. 20 knots. Nice job. That was great. Oh, I love this place, my breath and my bones. And I'll always call this island my home. But I know when the day comes, when my farewell. And Houston Discovery for the final time, we'll stop. Discovery Houston, uh, Pinto, great job by you and your crew. That was a great landing in tough conditions, and it was an awesome docked mission that you all had. You were able to take Discovery up to a full 365 days of actual time on orbit. I think that you call that a fleet leader and a leader of any manned vehicle for time in orbit. So, job well done. And copy that. Of course, we're headed to 5-3, and I'd like to thank you and your team and all the orbit teams for a fantastic mission.
mission as well as the Expedition 26 team on orbit. And I'd also like to thank KSC who has given us a perfect vehicle from start to finish on her final flight.